Hello guys, hello guys, welcome back today, um, <laughs> so I'm actually re-recording the audio for this because I decided it's better if I do that, so, um, um, if you're not a fan of my Scratch videos, um, you, there is a gaming video next week, and it's about the new airship map that came to Among Us just recently, so, um, um, luckily this was not recorded on April Fool's Day, so this is real, don't worry. Um, so, be f so, um, after my intro. <laughs> So, um, to start with the player sprite, there isn't much. There's just, uh, broad when green flag clicked, broadcast start, set rotation style to left and right, forever, go to zero, zero. Um, why am I so delayed? Like I said, I'm re-recording this, so, um, it should be just zero, zero. So you know because it because you, you because most people usually want their player in the middle, but if you want it not in the middle and a little bit lower, you know, then you surely can do that. So um yeah. <clears throat> so um let's get onto the ground. That's really all we need in the player sprite. So so yes, that's all we need in the player sprite. And, um, so in the ground we have, uh, when I receive start, forever, if then, Y position, let, gr gr oh, how come I can't remember, just 670, go to zero, 0, and then when I receive start, set X scroll to 0, set Y scroll to 0, switch costume to sizer, set size to 250, oh, wait a minute, oh yeah, sizer is just, a uh, um, blank sprite, to ha because scratch only allows um a certain size depending on how big the spri sprite is so if we switch it to a blank sprite we can size it and then like switch it back to the other sprite and then it like fakes out scratch making it think um uh whatever you know so then go to zero zero and then show just in case it's hidden for some reason and broadcast level start switch, which I don't even remember what that does, unfortunately. <clears throat> so then, um, we have a forever loop. We so um, what am I doing? Well, yeah, that level start switch isn't really needed, but I have a forever um set go. So yeah, forever loop set ghost effect to zero. <clears throat> And then in a then loop with key right arrow or key D pressed. And then an if then loop. And then another if then loop. Inside that if then loop saying not left arrow or A pressed. Set X scroll to 6. Change X by minus 1 multiplied by X scroll. So then, um. <clears throat> wow, my talking's rather fast. Because I'm ahead of my recording. <sighs> so then another of them loop with key left arrow pressed or key A pressed, then set X scroll to minus 6 and change X by minus 1 multiplied by X scroll. And then another of them loop saying if not key right arrow key D pressed, um, set X, wait, um, key left or key left ever or key a pressed it's one of those tricky boolean things again but i just showed you what it is really so um set x scroll to zero because if we don't the player will just keep on moving which is which is pretty bad so then um this part gets a little confusing because there are six i'm pretty sure six if then loops um, so six if then loops, yes, six if then loops, and right here I'm just marking each if then loop, so, yeah, I'm just marking each if then loop first, second, and third, um, third, <clears throat> fourth, 
So there are six if then loops, and this each one has a change y by minus one until the sixth one. Uh, the six the sixth if then loop is if touching player then change x by x girl set x girl to zero and change y by five, which I'm pretty sure determines some jumping. So, I'm, wow, I'm like really ahead of the stuff in my video, because my audio is not synced up. I mean, like, ha the time I'm saying, the, like, what to do, I'm not synced up, because I'm talking so fast. <sighs> but a lot of people do this, um, a lot of scratch people. People who make scratch videos do this. So then change Y scroll by one, change Y by right, change Y by Y scroll, change in air by one, and if then loop saying if touching player, then set in air to zero, change Y by Y scroll, multiply by minus one, set Y scroll to zero, and then a change Y by one, not in the loop, and then if, and then an if then loop saying t if touching player and key up error or key space pressed, it's one of those tricks key things again um and, or key w pressed um set y scroll to minus 20 um and then this change y by minus one is critical because if you just it, it determines wall collision so if you just take it out you'll start sinking into the ground which is ridiculous because that would be what you call a horrible scrolling platformer um so but with it we have wall collisions. So, yeah, it's very critical to have that. Please add that. It's like, seriously. It's critical if you want this thing to work. So, um, the danger thing has a small problem. Because I'm pretty sure it's because I backpacked the thing. I had a game called Virus I was making. And I was using this method because I'm tired of using the cloning stuff. Like where you clone platforms for scrolling platformer. Um, so I used that method in my virus game. But I decided never to share it. And I had danger blocks in it. but And it worked perfectly fine. It was so... It was like perfect. But then I decide, okay, I'm tired. I'm getting annoyed. So I just backpack the script and um I just backpacked the script and move it he moved it here changed what the danger sprite looked like but then all of a sudden it broke and something happened so um <laughs> but you shouldn't receive this problem because you're not going to be backpacking stuff because I didn't share this project that I'm using right now it's a private project see my problem um but you shouldn't receive that so on second thought so yeah, I mean, it, I yeah, the danger were the death stuff works pretty good. Um, on second thought, um, um, you there's a thing that you have to do. So let's see if my video comes to that. Okay, I'm getting there right now. So um, <clears throat> oh wait, first I make a block called danger. Um, that that was a mistake. Don't turn on run without screen refresh. Don't make my mistake. That was a horrible idea. Um, so yeah, just please don't do that. It lags your game horribly. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'll lag your game pretty badly. So just don't, don't do that <laughs> like seriously please don't do that it'll ruin your game so you have to put dots in your um sprites that that includes the portal sprite the danger and the ground sprites so just move those dots so far away that you can't um see them so if you don't put them you'll have the same problem with the cloning scrolling platformer which would be very bad so, um, like, there's the dot. I didn't move it far enough, but you should, like, move it very far because you're in vector, so you have the ability to do that. If you're in bitmap doing this, your stuff's gonna look pretty bad.
Um, so then we have a so in the danger once again we have uh when green flag clicked danger and in danger we have switch custom to custom two which is just a blank sprite. And here I make the mistake of thinking that if I um switch it change it to vector um it'll fix my problem, but by then I didn't realize that it's because something happened while I backpacked the sprite. So yeah, um set size to two hundred fifty, switch costume back to costume one, and then it switches to the danger thing, and then um go to zero zero, show, broadcast level start switch. That's unnecessary, you don't necessarily need that, and forever go to ground. You can just use other methods to do the forever go to ground, um, because um like that's a very um weird way to do it. Um most people won't do it that way. Um <clears throat> I've already been re-recording stuff for an hour, so, um, I recorded this clip a couple times, so when green flag clicked, forever, if then, touching player, broadcast, bad, aka, die. Um, really, this should be in the player sprite, but I didn't realize that, um, but, so, but, you know, so in the player's drive, uh, when I receive bad broadcast start and start powers everything. So if we broadcast start, it'll restart everything. So, um, <clears throat> so then what is it? Um, so yeah, then you get your danger spread because it's broadcasting start to restart the entire game every single time. So I hope you like this video. Remember, like, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.